Chatsworth has been here for over 500 years. 16 generations of the Cavendish family have shaped it. And by that I mean they've always commissioned the greatest artists and designers throughout those centuries. We continue to do that. We're very passionate about working with contemporary artists and designers. And so for this show, we've invited 16 international designers to come and respond to those interiors. The title of the exhibition is Mirror, Mirror, and that really is about a relationship between past and present. The designers have really responded to Chatsworth in all sorts of fascinating ways, sometimes sourcing materials from the property itself, sometimes creating objects that seem to speak to what was already in the room, sometimes engaging with themes or ideas that are present in the decorations. So throughout, you really see this kind of conversation between the present and the past. In the garden at Chatsworth are three benches by Yoris Larman. The benches are made of a grit stone, and this grit stone comes from a local quarry, Burntwood Quarry, and it's the material that was used to build the house at Chatsworth. Into the surface of the benches are carved channels, and into those channels are planted moss and lichen that will continue to grow through the time that the benches are in place. In the chapel at Chatsworth, we have a series of pieces by Faye Toogood. And Faye is responding to the spiritual space of the chapel, but also a wider and kind of deeper history of what we might mean by spiritual space. The Peak District has lots of standing stones and standing stone circles, and that connection out beyond the boundary of Chatsworth that Faye's work has, has this kind of wider rippling effect. These objects give a sense of meditative calm, a sense of massiveness or monumentality that really feels appropriate to the space and really amounts to one of the most resonant and powerful spaces that we've created in the exhibition. In the State Music Room at Chatsworth, visitors will see J. Se Young O's throne made of musical instruments. The piece itself is an assemblage of musical instruments and then it's wrapped in a very fine leather cord when your eye is exploring the surface of this piece, it's almost impossible to imagine how it was made. It seems to defy almost logic in terms of how it's constructed, which I think makes it such an intriguing piece to spend time with. One of the most extraordinary spaces at Chatsworth is the Sculpture Gallery, which was assembled in the early 19th century. with an amazing collection of neoclassical sculptures. Here we've placed four pieces by Samuel Ross, an up-and-coming star in British design, and each piece is made of a combination of marble and sometimes metal, which he's painted in his signature Volt Orange. It's a kind of collision of past and present, and also the artisanal with the technological, the classical with the industrial. It's a great example of how the show in general tries to talk across generations, across centuries. It's been such a privilege to work as a curator on the exhibition and have the opportunity to introduce these contemporary objects to this spectacular historic property. We have over 650,000 people come every year and they come for lots of different reasons. But an artist's new work can create a new way of looking at these spaces, capture people's imagination and hopefully inspire them to explore Chatsworth in a different light.